Hey guys, welcome to Gluten Free Guilt Free. Here is the much awaited gluten free and egg free bread recipe for you. Finally, I have cracked this recipe. I tried several, several flows and combinations to get this soft and delicious gluten free bread. And it's easy to make and comes out perfectly every time. So let's get started. So first we will proof the yeast for that. I'm taking warm water, then powdered sugar, give it a mix and then add instant yeast, gluten free instant yeast, one and a half teaspoon, give it a stir and let it proof for 10 minutes. Here you can see it's nicely proofed. In a large mixing bowl, take gluten-free baking flour. For the recipe, refer to the description box. And then I'm adding the yeast mixture, then salt, then milk powder. Milk powder is important. Then butter, followed by oil. I'm using groundnut oil. You can use any cooking oil. Here, I'm also adding apple cider vinegar. Give it a mix and and to knead the dough so i'm using hand mixer you can use stand mixer or you can use your hand but it will need muscle strength so here i'm adding milk little by little at a time and you have to knead this for about 10 to 15 minutes after milk i'm also adding water you can see all the ingredients at the end of this video i have made the list so here you have to start with low speed and gradually increase to high speed. I'll show you the consistency. For gluten free bread you need moist and soft dough. So at this stage I'm going to add baking powder. So I've added some water, baking powder and again a tablespoon of water. And now again mix it and beat it. So here you can see it's almost ready. I have just added a little bit of water. And this is the perfect consistency that we are looking for. Consistency for gluten free baking is very very important. Now grease the loaf pan. I'm using oil to grease it. You can use butter or oil. Then pour the batter and make it even yeah you can make the surface even with the help of spatula just tap it to remove any air bubbles and cover this with cling wrap and let it rest for one and a half to two hours or till it gets double in size so after one and a half hour you can see it's nicely raised now it's time to bake it so bake it at 180 degrees Celsius in preheated oven for about 30 minutes until the top is golden brown in color. But it usually takes around 25 to 30 minutes. After 25 minutes, my bread is nicely baked. Wow, look at that color. It's so nice golden brown. Now time to apply butter or oil on top of the bread so I'm using butter so I'm brushing the top with butter melted butter and after 10 to 15 minutes run a knife over the edges and invert the pan because it is important to cool this bread on a cooling rack so here you can see I'm just inverting it on a plate just remove the pan Ta-da! your soft and moist bread is ready to prevent drying i'm just wrapping uh, in moist cotton cloth and i'm keeping this for 20 minutes on a cooling rack and after 20 minutes remove the cloth and here you can see nicely baked bread is ready now we can cut this 
can see the top is also so soft and it's not at all hard now I'm going to slice this bread with the help of knife after doing all that work you don't want your loaf to get moldy or stale right bread taste best the day it's baked you can store it on a counter for a day or two but not at room temperature in Indian climate more than that if you want to store in refrigerator I would recommend allow the loaf to cool slice and place a piece of wax paper or parchment paper between the slices and then you keep this in refrigerator this will help in you know, reducing the sterling process inside the refrigerator do try out this recipe and let me know how you like it do like share and comment and here's the complete list of ingredients thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel please like share and comment happy baking